everybody, today I'm gonna continue with my Inglot AMC Pure Pigment series and today's color is number 24. It is a classic gold. Yeah. And this texture has chunks of flakes in it. These are not glitters. Uh, you can blend them, but you do need a special type of primer. I have to admit this texture is not very easy if you don't want to see you know these golden sparkles all over your face you do need a sticky base or something emollient this product can blend and hold on to so anyways without further ado i'm gonna show you this color combination then i'm gonna tell you what i think about this specific pigment okay everybody no baby screaming this week so let's get started first of all we are gonna prime our eyelids as usual now, before I dig into my powder foundation, I just want to apply an eye primer, an eye primer, but it is more like an eye balm. Uh, it is very soothing on the eyelids. Um, I have been applying my powder foundation directly over my skin, over my eye cream, and it started to feel like drying a little bit. So now I am going back to my concrete pin... Concrete... Ah! concrete minerals eye primer uh, it's just very soothing so I just use it as a barrier first and it's not here <laughs> I have to go and get it up get it up you can tell I'm not sleeping right I mean I'm not sleeping okay I'm gonna go get my electric eye primer from concrete minerals okay yeah let's do that this is the electric eye primer this is a product they market as a primer, but it feels like a balm, so it is really interesting texture. It works great with mineral eyeshadows, uh, but, you know, I use it with pretty much anything else. Just with pressed matte eyeshadows, let's say you are using a matte eyeshadow with tin formulation like MAC ones, uh, then you may need to powder your eyelids after this because it's very um, it dries out but the first time you apply it it is kind of a eye cream actually so it's a little bit greasy oh this is too much okay okay let's now I'm gonna go back to powdering my eyelids this is the bare minerals original foundation it's in loose form now I have been using this Kat Von D eye palette, anniversary palette, I think for about 6 weeks now and I got ton of use out of these eyeshadows which made me really really happy but for now I'm gonna retire this after this uh, week's video and I'm gonna choose another older palette that I do own and try to get use out of those palettes. So you know I have a little makeup box for my daily makeup and I in that box I have a new purchase and I have an older purchase so I kind of use them and I get sense of each and every shade and then I replace them sometimes I do this after one use or two uses let's say weekly sometimes I keep them in that box like for a longer period of time in that case I reuse this palette for about six weeks of course, I couldn't even make dent in the colors because there are so many colors in this palette and it was fantastic to use because you can get so many different looks out of it. It has different textures and different color combos. But for now, I am a little bit bored of them. So I'm just going to switch to another older palette. But I'm going to go to this very nice orangey tone. I'm going to use this as a transition color. The beauty of this palette is that it has a lot of transition shades, which is what I like in palettes. Now that I, you know, I have been using this, this is exactly what I like. So I'm going to apply this towards my upper crease uh, with this Morphe brush. It is M7, sorry, M573. I am blending slightly without pressing my brush too harshly I'm doing the upper inner corner 
and then I'm gonna start again from the very outer corner now I'm gonna go up to connect These eyeshadows are definitely not my favorite formulation. Uh, I always liked Kat Von D's uh, color combinations a lot, but the eyeshadows always felt like they have very thin formulations. Um, I do like a little bit more creamy mattes. Uh, so, I mean, formulation wise, I mean, it works for me. I can make them work, but they are absolutely not my favorite formulation. I'm gonna get my brush, MAC 221. I love this brush. <laughs> it's great for hooded eyes and uh, I'm gonna go into this green shade. It is this very vibrant shimmery green. It may be for a short time but I am definitely using more color. So this is a beautiful green. I am applying this to the outer corner and I just wanna go Towards the inner corner, it blends really good. Now to our shade, we are going to be using number 24 this week, and this is a copper, gold, I don't know, I think it's copper, <laughs> but it is the one with the flakes. So these colors are just a little bit more difficult to use because I think I mentioned this before, it has these flakes in them so you really need a sticky base. So even though I still have primer on, I'm gonna reapply this primer just to be on the safe side. I'm gonna get a little bit more with a flat brush and just directly apply it hmm why didn't I use my surat base I don't know I'm gonna pick up a little bit from the cap just a little bit touch because these ones I mean they are just so intense um, you if you don't want them to look crusty on your eyelids you need to slowly build it um, that's what I would recommend. Just slowly build it, otherwise it may get really crusty. I barely touch it and even with my finger I pick up ton of product. You can see like how molten it gets. I mean you don't want that to be really really crusty. So yeah. And I'm gonna let it do its own thing because this is so intense it can spread, you know, on its own. I'm gonna pick a pencil brush and I'm gonna go back to this palette. There's a lice, I'm sorry, lice. There's a nice light gold tone here with sparkles. I'm gonna apply this to my inner corners. Here. Ooh, that, okay, that was intense. I didn't mean this, but anyways. Now the Concrete Minerals Eye Primer, because it is like a balmy texture, it intensifies the shimmers like crazy. Like crazy. So, yeah. Anyways, this is too colorful, but yeah, it's fine. We are showing the color, so it's okay. I'm just gonna go to a blending brush like this and there's an ivory shade in this palette, this one. I'm gonna use it to highlight my brow bone area. Okay everybody, this is the eye makeup. I'm gonna complete my face makeup and I will show you the finished look and we are gonna talk about our pigment for this week. So since these coppery golden tones are very common colors, pretty much every makeup brand out there does this, uh, I would go for a pressed version. This flaky one, although very intense, I mean, it's a classic color. And these flaky ones are tricky. 
um, if you don't use a sticky base they do fall out and it creates such a mess on the face so if it is not such a unique combination I usually wouldn't prefer to use this kind of texture when it comes to this very intense golden coppers and this is a very you know warm tone gold classic gold and to me this is very old school it reminds me these this 1970s or 60s I don't know the Cleopatra makeup I don't find this shade flattering on me but if you have blue eyes green eyes these colors look amazing on colorful eyes it's just for me I mean it's kind of too warm and too old school so um, I will definitely skip this uh, if I was able to like I mentioned try these in the stores uh, I will skip that color because I do have pressed versions of this the Morphe ones the color pop ones they do perform very very good uh, if it was something I could have pulled without a primer okay then you know there is a benefit to it but I mean you still need to use primer and if I'm gonna use primer I can definitely go find another pressed version that's gonna work with this kind of intensity so anyways, I hope you guys liked it. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe and I will see you next week. Bye.